Hello folks, my name is Andrew and today we're going to do this in Click Team Fusion. Differently from the launch object function, this is going to be very precise. To make this work, we're going to use always the old 8 and 2 formula, but this time we're going to get from the angle, the sine and the cosine. This way we can move the bullet with a constant speed. Sine is going to give us the Y movement, cosine is going to give us the X movement. Like you can see, I have here my cannon and my bullet. I'm going to give to the bullet four variables, x, y, angle and speed. I'm setting the speed to 10. Now let's jump to the event editor. What I'm going to do is to create a bullet on the mouse click. So let's add the mouse click condition and add a subcondition mouse isn't overlapping the cannon. Now I'm going to create the bullet relative to the cannon. Then I'm moving the bullet behind the cannon. Now let's set the variables x and y to the bullet x and y. I'm going to set the angle variable using the 8 and 2 formula. Now let's move the bullet. I'm putting an always event and I'm going to set the x variable to its Itself plus cosine of the angle variable for speed. I'm going to set the y variable to itself, but this time minus sine of the angle variable for speed. And last but not least, I'm going to set the x position to the x variable and I'm going to set the y position to the y variable. Let's try this out. Okay, it's working, but the shooting starts from the center of the cannon. To change that, edit your cannon and set the action point from where the shooting should start. Now go to the event editor and edit your bullet creation. Here click on option and use action point. And now everything is working. You're done. Leave a like and subscribe.